It's now my pleasure to welcome a very funny lady who almost live. She's been performing all this week at Swanee's Comedy Underground. You can actually see her tomorrow if you hurry up. Uh, always a pleasure to have her here. Please welcome Carrie Snow. It? I'll slap you, honey. <laughs> I, have, I have underpants older than him. But anyway, my name is Carrie Snow. I'm a comedian, an actress, an Elvis love child, and a garage sale hostess. So I actually I did have a garage sale um, last summer. Um, it was more than a garage sale. It was a bunch of friends. We sold really good stuff. So it was more of the Imelda Marcos Memorial Estate Sale. And... <laughs> She's still shopping, and I, you have to respect that. I mean, I still I saved all the articles from her shoe collection because men were so horrified by it, you know, and I like to see the veins in their temples pop out when they read it. You know, 3,000 pairs of shoes, 1,500 more pairs of shoes, and men look at the art, or women look at the art and go, I'd have that many too if I had the closet space. Come on. You know. So I have this garage sale. Now, what is it when you put your, your, your items that you want to discard, things that are perfectly good, that might have a new life with somebody else, you put them on your lawn, and people that you wouldn't want in your home, people that you don't even know the orthodontic terms to describe, <laughs> come by and judge you. You know, we hate that. We do. And um, I'm out there, and, and this woman came by, and um, she didn't have teeth, but then again, well, it was Sunday. And I don't even think English was her second language. I, and she comes by, and I'm selling clothing that I've worn on television shows, kind of trying to get rid of it, and saying, I wore it on The Late Show with Ross Schaefer. It's a buck. You know, <laughs> Oh, I'm lovely. And, and so, you know, and I had this one skirt that I wore, not when I hosted comedy tonight, but when I was just on comedy tonight. And it was a pink corduroy circle skirt, okay, because I've got a lot of guts. And um, it was a big skirt. It was a big skirt. It was too big for me. I had, at the time, I had reached the edge of my personal envelope, all right? Um, yeah, yeah. I, um, I, I had started taking, I'd found out I had a thyroid problem, which was nice that I found out. Of course, um, I was taking the medication and then daring it to work with ice cream. And, yeah, yeah, it's very scary. I, I realized that I had a problem with ice cream. One night, I was looking for, can I say a brand name? Um, these guys, Ben and Jerry's Coffee Heath Bar Crunch. Okay, <laughs> and the people are going, testify. And, and it's, a, it's a great ice cream, and I was looking all over Los Angeles for this ice cream, because they have grocery stores open real late at night, just for me. And I'm looking for this ice cream, and, and they don't have it anywhere. They had regular Heath Bar Crunch, but not the coffee Heath Bar Crunch. And, you know, I deserve what I want. Ooh, spoiled. And, oh, yeah, and I'm very shallow. I really am. You know, a lot of people would like world peace, but I'd like my hair to be all one length first. And, <laughs> yeah. The women are going, that's not shallow, Carrie. That's a winter project. All right. <laughs> but I'm still very shallow. You know, I can't have children because I've got white couches. All right. Uh, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> and so I realized the light bulb came above my head, and I said, you know, I can get coffee haagen a far superior coffee, and hammer my own Heath bars. I don't need Ben and Jerry, all right? <laughs> and then when I was at home hammering the Heath bars in a plastic bag, I realized, I think I need professional help. <laughs> so... so. So we're at the garage sale, and the pink corduroy skirt is folded in half, and, and it's in a dry cleaning bag, because I'm selling things in dry cleaning bags, because I'm so crazy. I like all my clothes to be exactly perfectly clean at the very same time. I like to be naked at the laundromat, don't picture it. <laughs> and, and so, and this woman, and it's, it's, so it's folded in half, actually in quarters, and this little, she's very thin. She was thin like she didn't care about eating, so we didn't have a lot in common. And I, I can understand thin like trying to be thin, but thin like you don't care. <laughs> Get out of town. And so she lifts up the little corduroy skirt. She lifts it up, you know, and she goes like this. Ugh. And because there was a lot of fabric there. The last time we'd seen that much fabric in one piece was on a Hobie cat. All right. And so she lifts it up and she opens it up. She unpins it and she opens it up. And my friends are sitting there watching me watch her, watching to see what's going to happen because they want to know if this babe's going to live. And she opens up this the thing and she opens it up and she looks at it and it's like wider than she is. And she opens it up and she goes, ah. And I said, use it as a car cover, lady. Just get it out of my life. I, that was when you guys are real nice. If I'd known you guys were going to be this nice, I would have worn underpants. I really would have. Yeah. Teasing. Yeah. 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 
Are you all right? Yeah, I'm ready to kill myself and take some people out. That's not kidding. Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing, anyway? I'm doing, I'm doing fine. Okay. I'm scared by your shirt, though. Isn't this nice? Um, no, no, my isn't it kind of a 60s, out. kind of a retro thing, you know? <laughs> My, my wife picks this out. She picks out all my clothes. Well, I mean, I, I, I respect the fact because she has twin boys and she's very That's busy. Right. That's right. But um, I'm just saying that if you want us to wear these 60s clothes, you've got to give us back our drugs. Um, <laughs> very scary. Okay, well, thanks for that note. Thanks for that nice word of wisdom for the youth no, so, today. So I'm very excited to find out your boys are almost two. Almost two. On Halloween, my boys will be two. That's so okay. yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Happy birthday, all of you. Well, see, because Mike, I went to a psychic this summer because yeah. I wanted to find out if and when I was ever going to get married. And the woman told me, she goes, you're going to marry somebody in the next year you don't know right now. I said, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, that was a big surprise for me. And she also told me I was going to have a girl and twin boys. And then I realized that she was crazy. And uh, I canceled my check. Uh, <laughs> You know, okay. but that's like a good thing. You look kind of cute, though. That you're funny on the show. I was like watching the show. Oh earlier. well, thank you. Thank no, you for validating. I mean, thank you. Very well, much. because you know, for, you know, last time I was here, you first had just started doing the show, and I think um, you may have wet your pants. You know, all this yeah. Center, but I was. I was it's sorry. okay. It's done. Now. Thank you very much, Terry Snow. We'll be right back. Terry. That's very funny. Right?